Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to another Mac Merlin build stream. Thank you, everyone, for joining in. I see a Willis, Invoker, Comrade, Questions, Win, Captain, Dada, Jcap, and Coder Bra. Thanks, guys, for joining in, especially so early within the stream. So, as usual, I like to talk about what's occurring, what I'm drinking, and all that. So, let's get to it. My favorite Blue Monkey Sparkling juice drink. This one is for guava, actually. Um, I'm so glad that Costco decided to restock them. The first time I bought these, it was kind of like I saw them for one week and they disappeared. And they disappeared completely. And they finally restocked them, so I bought three boxes. <laughs> Hopefully I will be able to enjoy them for a very long time. Let's see, what are people saying on chat? Hoping to get a Mr. Suit. Good luck to you! So yeah, as you guys can see from the stream title, today we are building a customer's Brutal 60. Canon Keys Brutal 60 with alpacas. Here, just give a, give a quick unboxing. Brutal 60 is also a 60%. You guys couldn't tell from the name. And it is inspired by Brutalist architecture. Um, this one's going to be a burger mouth board. All proceeds go to preventing illegal whaling. There we go. So yeah, it looks like he's using an FR4 plate right there. And here we go. Here's the Black Brutal. You know, to be fair, I've never actually built a Brutal on stream before. And one of my comments about the Brutalist design is that it's too, it's too sharp for me. It's too sharp looking. It's too... I don't know. There's just something I don't like about it. Just seeing it in person, though, I'm starting to rethink my thoughts but yeah here let's um let's go put some feet on it first before anything yeah this is going to be a burger mount board burger mounts basically just a pop mount but with o-rings attached to it see you guys can see the little o-rings in there that's where all the screws go through the last burger mount board that I built was my Satisfaction 75. And to be honest with you guys, I wasn't, um, really wasn't too impressed between the burger mount and top mount. Discriminates as brutally honest. <laughs> I see what you did there. And here we go, let's put this on. Put some feet on here. Yeah, this is a customer's build. In fact, it's a local customer build, which I greatly prefer because it's easier to do the pickup and drop off. Comrade questions, are you not satisfied? Yeah, I was not satisfied with my Satisfaction 75. Not sure if it was the switches that I chose, just the overall burger mount feel or the look. It's just, it was a cool board, but something about it didn't sit right with me. In fact, if you guys watched me during that time period, I just never used it. Just never used the board. As, as much as I was excited about it, I just never used it. Pre-did all of my stabs. Are you sure this is HD? Well, it's, a, it's Sangin. Sangin edition. He does use the two, um, <laughs> the two, uh, what do you call that? The split backspace there. <laughs> Katsu says, good day, Merlin. Good day to you, too. Yeah. Yeah, let me change it up. Change up the command right there. <laughs> Sangin. Call it Sangin. There we go. Alright, so yeah, this is going to be a hot swap board. The Instant 60 from Canon Keys. It's got RGB underglows and in-switch single color LED. Look at that. That should be fairly quick, hopefully. The customer has opted to use alpacas. Let's see, where do you put the alpacas here? Alpaca switches. Mm 
So hopefully you sent enough. So customer didn't ask me to lube them, so I wonder if they're already lubed. Hmm. Honestly, I can't tell. I cannot tell if they've been lubed. The alpacas are already super smooth. Case test. <laughs> Not on a customer's board. Not on a customer's board. There we go. Let's go put all this in. Yeah, I feel like lately I've been building more hot swaps, which is good. You know, saves more time. Saves more time. You'd pay extra. You'd pay extra to watch me do a taste test of lube. <laughs> no thanks. No thanks. Man, I think I bent that one. Usually you can tell if you bent a leg or not, but no, nope, I was wrong. Hi there, hope you're having a great stream. Thank you, I am having a great stream. I'm, I'd say I'm pretty close to being done at this point. Embrace the shine. Yeah, I know, that's, that's the thing. It's kind of like, it's like shoes, right? You can buy shoes. There's a way to take care of your shoes, but there's really no way of preventing it from, you know, being used, right? Unless you don't use it. All right. Got it all in. Got it all in. Oh yeah, I saw about that in Bessa. Yellowing of bleached. That's pretty terrible if you ask me. Alright, let's do this. Let's take it apart. All right, we got the top off. Hooray. All right, let's do this gasket mounting thing. Gasket mount business. All right, let's see. No. I keep thinking the mounting is on the bottom, but no, it's not on the bottom. It's on the top. <laughs> so the way this goes is we need to put the O-rings in the hole first. Was the R2 version the same price as the R1? I don't even know. I, honestly, I did not follow up with the Rukia stuff. No, I don't I don't follow up on every board in the hobby. Especially once I can't really afford it, so you know. <laughs> Man, these are such small O-rings. So I'm gonna need a tweezer of sorts. Where'd, where'd I put my little tweezer? have my tweezer here anymore. Oh, I see it. It's underneath my monitor here. Just to slip slip through. Wait, Jax is posted in the Geek Hack? Wait, what? <laughs> Maybe he's watching the show right now. Maybe he's watching.
You know, to be fair though, I, I, I know Jax did watch me before. Like, I, I've seen him in, in the chat occasionally. So he really could be watching right now. Forced to pay aftermarket price because of supply and demand? I feel like that's kind of like saying you're you're forced to eat because you're alive. Claims a shoulder injury and two CNC crashes. Huh. But no updates for many months. And Brandon says, I'd love to have a conversation about the PCB. I did add you on Discord a few nights ago. Yeah, yeah, just reach out to me. I just, just don't really have too much time these days. There we go. Okay. Let's put it in. Go. But actually, before I seal it off, let's actually check that the PCB works first. <laughs> Come on, open up via. Well, it lights up. And the computer does detect it, but no, no instance of via. Here, let's unplug again, try it again. There we go. Detected by via. Go instance 60, let's do key tester mode. This is the way to do it. And, mm, wait, what? Let's change the layouts a little bit here. Sangin, there we go. Heat tester, test matrix, there we go. That's what I like to see. works as intended. Ex excellent. What are BCP? I don't know what BCP is either. <laughs> Black cherry pie. I'm assuming that's a new switch or so. Um, MX top cream stem and JWK bottom. 
Oh, interesting. Okay. I made something similar except with inverse stems. We don't know what th those would be called. So bloody good with the long stem. You got to 126 words per minute thanks to it. Your sweet spot is 62G. So for tactile switches, my sweet spot is actually 62. But when it comes to linear, I prefer heavier ones. Like for tactile, I could probably even go down to a 55G. There we go. Brutal 60, all done. Let's put some keycaps on. Put all those keycaps on. Um, I'm gonna be putting on JWK, or sorry, uh, GMK Hyperfuse. Simply because I just took it off, currently in the bag, so it's easy to get to, and I think Hyperfuse looks really good on a blackboard. Yoni Rosen says, I have some FFF switches arriving tomorrow as well. Did you even try them? Yeah, FFF switches are right here. I've been typing on FFFFs for the last week and a half. How are they? I actually quite like them. It started off with me like being a little unsure. Just because I felt like even though they're they're supposed to be thockier switches, the nature of the Blade 60 makes it clack more. But, you know, over time, I guess I just started liking it. What's the next set I should be receiving? I actually don't know, but I am I'm on the hunt for a black PBT set. So, so... Discriminate. What I said in that video is different from what I'm saying now. Because that video was done about almost two weeks ago now. And two weeks ago, I wasn't so sure about the Blade 60. But after typing on it for almost two weeks, I quite like it. Well, you know. Things change. Things change. We'll also are taking pre-orders for a B PBT white on black. Oh, really? Okay, I may have to look into that. The reason why I'm looking for one is I am giving my Icky 68 charcoal to my wife to use at work and she wants something that's like low key. Low key, so she asked for black keycap. So I'm like, oh, okay. Guess we can do something like that. Do you enjoy the 60 with the arrows layout? So the funny thing is, this is actually the layout of my board at work. So I'm okay with it. Even though I've got like the shift key, a program to be tap for slash and question mark and hold for shift, it still trips me up every now and then, but it's not bad. Hyper... Hyperfuse, there we go. <laughs> I need a control key. There we go. Control, control. 
Now I want to put something there. I'll probably put the code key. Let's do a code key, put it there. And now we need backspace. What goes there? What goes there on a regular? That, that should be delete, right? Where's my delete key? Tilda. Oh, yes, tilde. Okay, let me get the tilde key. Let's see where I put that tilde key here. Yeah, let's just put this for now. Okay, where's my 7U? It is, this is going to be fun to type on. I don't normally type on sang and layouts here. now yeah hyperfuse looks really good on black yeah i don't have too many black boards these days so i'm glad to be able to put this on a board that looks really good let's check it out canon keys brutal 60. there let's remove a couple of these items and we'll do a typing test Yeah, I should probably program that to a backspace. Yeah, let's see how this is programmed. Did your Blade 60 change your mind about tray mounts? So, um, I never had a bad experience with tray mounts. Like, if you guys remember, I was tray mounts all the way until 2017. So, I still think the same about tray mounts. Nothing different there. The Blade 60 is a fairly decent board, even for a tray mount. Okay, let's try this. Let me turn off my music and my crisp so you guys can hear everything. Yeah, this feels pretty good, if you ask me. This feels really good. All right, let's pause the music. Turn off the crisp, and you guys can hear how my room sounds. There we go. All right, let's try this out. This is an FR4 plate, alpaca switches, burger mounted. Here we go.
There we go. Alpacas are lubed 205G0. Oh, lubed and filmed with dust keys. Ah, okay. Yeah, they sound great. Hand lube them and they are like butter now. Nice. Yeah, this sounds really good. It's it's convinced me to possibly buy a Brutal 60 the next time I want a 60%. You know, um, as some of you know, I am on the lookout for possibly another board for my wife. The current contender is this one right here. But my wife did express that she didn't like the band, <laughs> so I'm like, okay, uh, I don't know what to do about that. This is like literally my only black keyboard right now. <laughs> so, yeah, we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens later. Whether or not she, go she goes with this board or I get her something like this. But yeah, for those of you who are interested in, in getting a, a board similar to what we have today. Here, let me turn on the music again. There you go. For those of you interested in getting a board similar to what we have today, this is, there you go. The Brutal 60 from Canon Keys, currently in stock, available in several colors right here for 215 bucks. You got black, gray, navy, green, lilac, and aqua. You can choose between wind key or wind keyless, like the one that I built today, or HHKB. And of course, if you want a small discount, you can go for B stock and all that. That you'll will only get a small, a small discount. But yeah, um, Canon Key ships from Rhode Island, New York. So expect relatively quick shipping. So yeah, once again, this is the Canon Keys Brutal 60. Quite like it. Botner, he says, what is the difference between A and B stock? Probably the number of visible blemishes. Raidstream says, you can, you can paint the badge. Well, that's the thing. It's still technically my board. I don't really want to paint stuff unless I have to. So we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. Here, let me pull off the plug so I don't pull it by accident. Canon Keys Blade 60 with Alpacas FR4 plate topped with GMK Hyperfuse Origins. You can see the Canon Keys logo there. Yeah, I'll, I'll type on this for a week and then I'll reach back out to the customer. All right guys, thanks for joining in. My next stream is tomorrow evening in which we'll talk about upcoming group buys and ending group buys that are occurring for the following week. So if that's, a, if that's the kind of content you guys are interested in, make sure you check me out tomorrow at 7.30 p.m. PDT. All right, guys. Bye, everyone. Bye-bye.